Why? Guys, we really want you to go on the Apple Podcast app, rate us a five star, and leave a nice review. We're really trying to get to the top of the charts, and we can only get there with the help from you. So please, please, please help us achieve our dreams of making it big in this town. Honestly, like, you know, I brought up the whole sponsorship deal, like, you know, how we don't have one because we want a five star rating. But, like, we don't give a fuck about the money. Isn't that right? You're right. We don't give a F about the money. You know why? Why? Because we care about ratings. Right. That's why Ilya's gonna say something he's never told anybody before in his life right now, and you guys are gonna be rating us a five star and following us on Spotify. Go ahead, Ilya, hit him with it. I started masturbating uh, too, at too early of an age, and I actually had to get surgery on my. Like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, Joe. Did you know that we have over fifty thousand listens now? I do. Honestly, like it, it's it's like a cool number, but like I'd love to say we have half a million listens. And like one day we'll be able to do that. Where do you see this podcast going? What's your goal? I don't know. I, I want it to be big though. I want I want a lot of people to listen to us. And I, you know, I feel like I want to help a lot of people and like just keep giving away money every podcast. <laughs> we only give away a hundred dollars. Yeah, for now, but we are growing in numbers and we're gonna be giving away probably 150 today. That's actually true. The more people that know about this podcast, the more money we give away. That's true. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell your pets, you know, tell everybody to listen to the podcast. Roll the intro. We don't have an intro. <laughs> Roll the whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I went to a vintage antique shop and I spent fourteen hundred dollars on a fire hydrant. The fire hydrant weighs about six hundred pounds. And no, I- not six hundred, maybe four hundred. And that may seem absurd, but it's all cast iron. But it's hollow. <laughs> but guess who had to haul it up your stairs? But again, it's hollow, so it's not like you. It was that heavy. No, it was pretty heavy. Not if you work out every day. Whatever, bro. I had to haul it up your fucking stairs. All for you to take a fucking photo with your dog who didn't even fucking like it. And the photo didn't even do that well because I got so excited to post it. I posted it at like 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday. Listen, I told you to have him piss on it. And what did you do? You didn't listen to me. If you had him piss on it in the middle of your living room, it would have done well. Annalise, go grab the Bobby piss we have stored in the closet (laughs) so we could just pour it all over. No, not Bobby wouldn't piss in his own piss. He would piss in someone else's piss. So you would have to actually get someone else's dog's piss. Rub it on the fire hydrant, and then Bobby would piss on it. And you're upset that I didn't do that. Bro, you got to commit. You did so much for him. Why didn't you just pee on the fire hydrant while you were doing everything else? <laughs> just I piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Bobby sleeps next to it. <laughs> oh, man. Last week, you leaked your own phone number. How's that going? Yeah. It's good. At, like, its peak, how many calls were you getting at once? At its peak? Uh, you mean right now? <laughs> This is like four days later. Like four, I'm not even, I'm being dead ass serious. Four calls a minute. Shut up. Right now I have 1,100, only 1,162 text messages and 4,724 missed calls. You know, people will call like seven times in a row and oh my God, bro. It's been a trip. It's been such a trip. Really? I actually went to T-Mobile to get a new phone. You're the first person I've ever known to leak their own number on the internet. Yeah, it's, it's wild, but like it got people talking. <laughs> I mean, it got them talking to you. (laughs) Do you regret it? Uh, No. Really? Yeah. We have a predicament. You know what he does? What? He orders Postmates using my credit card for his mukbangs. He uses Mm. my Postmates credit card to order David Gyros. That's that's interesting. My credit card. It's euros. Sorry. Yeah. Um, wait, can we talk more about... 100% because I have so much more to talk about. Okay, your phone calls. What kind of texts have you been getting? Why on- are you ignoring the fact that you were taking my credit card? We'll talk about it after. We'll talk about it after. <laughs> <laughs> and Elise just got so upset. Wait, what do you mean? We're just going to skip the topic? <laughs> you told me to save it for the podcast and now you're avoiding... You just ordered... Okay, let's move on. Let's just move on. Next time, next time. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, go. What kind of texts have you been getting from leaking your own phone number? I'll read them through. <laughs> Some people will text me my quote. Persistence over resistance. <laughs> and I'll just look at that and be like, fuck. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I like double down on the whole phone number thing too. So like... I really fucked myself. Yeah, I also have a YouTube channel, and in my vlog, you go, guys, if you need to get a hold of me, get a hold of me. Don't stop calling. <laughs> dude, dude, at, at certain times of the day, I get so mad. <laughs> and, like, I can't get mad at the person calling because I told them to call. You know what I mean? So it's, like, so twisted and fucked. <laughs> the furthest I can scroll back in my phone book, currently it's 622. The the furthest I can scroll back is 5.12 p.m. Oh, my God. Wow. What kind of text are you getting? 
People like won't even like say hi. Is this Ilya? They'll just send me games like eight ball and like archery. <laughs> <laughs> Today I was driving on the highway on my motorcycle with my helmet on, with an AirPod in my ear because I like to listen to music. Right? <laughs> there was no listening to music. It was just it was just phone call after phone call after fucking phone call. And I would go, I would go and reach in my pocket to like turn it off to keep listening to the music. And so I did that. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm riding my motorcycle on the highway. All of a sudden, 911, thank you for calling. What's your emergency? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, like an iPhone, if you hold it too long, yeah. it calls 911. Yeah. So now I'm going 90 on the highway with 911 in my ear, and I can't respond. Right? I can't respond because I'm going so fast, and they can't hear me. <laughs> so, And I can't pull on the highway either because on a bike, it's, like, super dangerous to do that shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I have 911 in my ear for, like, three minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I get to my house later, and... um. They show up to my house and arrest me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, wait, what? Can you imagine? No, no, yeah, but that was really funny. I was like, fuck, I have, like, they're literally in my ear. Hello? You seem all riled up. Did you see the picture that I posted on our Instagram page of our yeah, podcast? Yeah, fuck face. You fucking, why would you choose that photo? I'm so, like, why? I'm sometimes, bro, I look at you and I'm like, really think, like, your decisions don't make any fucking sense. Why are my eyes closed? <laughs> I, honest, what was going through your head at that moment? Like, where you went, oh my god, that's the photo. <laughs> Tell me, please, Joe. I'm dying to know. The picture that I picked, I looked really good in. It just so happened to be that you were blinking. Yeah? I'll keep that in mind when I post my photos. <laughs> Guys, check us It'll out. It'll just be you, like, fucking half cut out of the fucking frame. Like, just your leg. Check out, you guys. Check fun. out our Instagram at Lightweights Pod. Can I see your haircut? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Okay. That's fine. Oh, can I see it? Can I see it? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why is it so funny? It's, maybe it's the hat hair. It's the hat. Yeah, it's the fucking hat hair. It's fine. <laughs> fuck I, you guys. I only laughed because he was laughing. Yeah. Right. Whatever. <laughs> You know what? I'm That's starting fine. to think that you guys are tag teaming against me. And Elise was supposed to be mean you against him. The fuck? What was the most amount of money you ever lost gambling? 10 grand. Oh, this is a funny story. I've never told it. So I'm trying to be all fucking David Dobrik, right? While you're telling this story, keep twisting the knobs <laughs> on the interface. That's like literally... That's such a good idea that, like, when you're fiddling with stuff, that you just twist things. That's so good for the audio. Guys, I just reached over to, like, the, the controller box and just started twisting random knobs. It's not a nipple. Stop trying to play with it. Okay. It was a little bit over a year ago. It was, uh, like, me and 10 of my friends, we went paintballing for the day, whatever. And after we were at dinner, my buddy's like, yo, you should, uh, you should bet a grand on black. And I was like... Really? Really? I should do this? <laughs> and and then uh and then you know like I'm sitting there like eating it's like you know silent for probably 5 minutes and then in my head I'm like I should do 10 grand. Like 10 grand so much so much cooler, right? Than 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 one. Like I'm sure like a lot of people can do one. Like one's cool. Right. Right? But 10's like you know, whoa, ten's cool. And no one's filming this, right? No one. Okay. No, 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 no. It's just, just, just like a casual dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, friends hanging out, going paintballing. But you were like, I got to make this just happen for some reason. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we go to the casino. I'm having like, because I don't have cash on me and I don't have a debit card. So I'm maxing out like all the cash withdrawals of my credit cards. Oh my God. I'm like on the phone with the bank. I borrow $1,000 from my friend, Mike. He, <laughs> he drives up like an hour to give me $1,000 in cash. Now I've gathered my ten thousand dollars right <laughs> and, and <laughs> all my credit cards are maxed out with cash i go to the table i pick the table so i uh, i give him the money and wait what were you playing i was playing roulette so roulette is the game where like you know you either david does it a lot it's like black or <laughs> black or red whatever my color is always black when you bet a color on roulette your odds of winning are like 46 percent. right so i mean it's pretty fucking high it is it's a very high bet Right. And you're doubling your money. So I would have walked out with 20 grand. And yeah. And so I, I announced that I'm putting 10 grand and like, you know, people start being attracted to that table because it's like a big bet. Right. Yeah. The roulette spins. And like, dude, my heart is fucking pounding. Are you regretting it yet? Um, no, I'm not regretting because like, you know, at the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm going to fucking win. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, obviously I'm going to win. Yeah. And, um, that didn't turn out to be the case because it actually landed in black. I remember it so clearly like it was yesterday. It landed in black, hopped onto red. Wow. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, and I wasn't like, you know, cause I was ready to lose. 
at the same time, like, we're ready to win. I don't know, that sounds weird, but I wasn't, like, upset to a point where it was like, fuck. It just would have been, like, the greatest night of my life if I would have won that because I would have taken everybody out to, like, this was pre-COVID. So I would have taken, like, everybody out to the clubs. Like, we would have had a great time. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but I fucking lost. But now when I go back, I'm going to bet 20 grand. Really? Yeah. When? God damn, I don't know when. Well, I'm pumped. I want to go. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you know. Let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll bet 20 grand this time because I want to make up for the last time. Naturally. And if, right, and if I win, <laughs> and if I lose this time, then it's going to be 40 grand the next time. And then after that. Right. Can you imagine I just lose five times in a row? <laughs> Elliot, what's your losing streak? <laughs> yeah, I've lost five times in a row on black. <laughs> That'd be so fucked. <laughs> I have to win, though. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen $100,000 in cash? No. I have. Where? I used to be a bank teller. So the very first day when I was there, like they gave me access to my vault and like all the money was just laying there. I'm like, holy shit. And then I got a call from the district manager because I didn't finish all my forms. So they said I had to leave and they kicked me out. Really? Yeah. You want to know the crazy thing about working at a bank? What? They have the die packs that if you're ever being held up, they want you to put that in the robber's bag and the incentive. What the Fuck. The incentive is that you'll get $500. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, put this in, in the robber's bag. Risk your life at, at gunpoint while he's grabbing the money. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> what? It's optional, but that is on the table. Is, is it like there's like when you're applying for the job, there's like a checkbox? Like, would you like to put um, a, a die in the robber's well, bag? They're not forcing you to yes, commit. Yes, no, circle one. <laughs> They're not forcing you to commit when you like get hired. <laughs> you're you're like you're like yeah you're like at your second interview. So I noticed you uh, didn't circle yes for the uh, robbery portion. Are you not committed to Chase? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine though, like putting that in there and then it blowing up? What would you do if a, if a robber robbed you at a bank? What would, what would you do? I would not put it in. I would just give him the money and go the rest of my life. I don't need to get shot over someone taking ten grand. What bank was this? That's a fucking insane ask. No, that's like all banks. Can you actually, yeah, can you put the die in and then after that, can you punch him in the face and <laughs> choke him to death on well, the floor? It's optional. That's the thing. It's optional. How far are you willing to go with Robert? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as would fuck. You, would you be able to put a die pack in there? It's like, fuck no. I'm no? not dumb. No. I mean, no, dude. No way. Are you crazy? He's not going to just fucking leave his bag open while, like, I fucking sneak around while I'm on the ground, like, fucking slowly, <laughs> and I put it in his fucking bag. Are you crazy? It's not, like, just, like, a, a Tide Pod pack. It's it's hidden inside a stack of, like, $10,000. Oh, so I'd be like, here, Robert, take the extra. <laughs> oh, here, I actually found another ten grand. Here you go, sir. <laughs> yeah. You know what I noticed about you, Joe? Do tell. I noticed that you, like, in front of me, keep that in mind, uh, audience, <laughs> in front of me. You'll tell people lies that are believable about me. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? And no, it's not. Because, like, the the person that's listening to you believes it. <laughs> and then I literally have to go, no, that didn't happen. He's lying. And I know it's a believable lie, but trust me, it didn't happen. So, like, I have to double down on me, like, telling the truth. I'll be like, no, actually, I'm actually telling the truth. You gotta loosen up. <laughs> <laughs> like, you'll be like, you'll be like, did you know that Ilya only has $500 in, your, in his bank account? <laughs> And like the person who like doesn't know me, like and doesn't know him, obviously wouldn't know my financial situation. Be like, oh okay, like totally wouldn't think anything of it. But like now they know that I have no money, <laughs> and I'll be like, that's actually wrong. And I'll have to go back on my financial situation and be like, I, I have way more than that. Sorry, like I have more than five hundred. <laughs> you know, like you're a piece of shit, and like you do that a lot in front of every. And keep in mind, guys, I'm in the room while he's doing this shit. So like, I guess it's okay. Like, he's trying to make a joke out of it, but, like, it's really not that fucking funny. It's because like, it's I like you. I know. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, my God. That's nice. Yeah, so nice. It's my it's my love language, picking on you. <laughs> and then there's, like, rumors that'll start about me. <laughs> you hear Ellie's moving back to Chicago? <laughs> yeah, David let him go off Dobrix. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, did you know that? That's exactly what it would be. I'll did tell you Jason know? that. And then Jason's like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, I can't wow. believe it. No, I didn't know. I'll, I'll, I won't bring it up around him. <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah. he doesn't want anyone to know yet, so don't say anything. Yes, it's exactly. You're a fucker, bro. <laughs> like, me trying to defend myself seems like I'm lying. You know? Like, Jay, I, I'm staying here in LA. Trust me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ilya, it's okay. <laughs> Ilya, whatever you got to do, do do what you got to do. I'm not here to judge. Oh, shit. Please stop doing that, man. It, like, I mean, you can do it. I don't give a shit, but it's just like so funny. <laughs> hey, we interviewed my friend, Dr. Evan Anton, who is a world famous veterinarian, and he won People Magazine's Sexiest Human on Earth. Uh, a couple years ago, but he comes on the podcast in a few days, and I think we're going to release that probably Saturday because that'll be like a little bonus episode. But we want to start talking to like fun people that we find interesting, and hopefully, you guys dig it. And if you guys have anyone that you want us to interview, DM us the people, and like I'm sure we can try to get a hold of them or whatever. Evan's a good friend, I used to shoot videos with him, and he's just an all around interesting guy. Really, really cool stuff. He's been all over the world working with animals, endangered animals, and there's a really fun story in there. It'll be the title. Speaking of your hygiene. Um, <laughs> no one was talking about hygiene. No, we were. We were. I was in the back of my head, and then you, you were thinking it too. I brushed my teeth today in okay. the morning. Okay. Cool. Wow. Really? Yeah. No way. I swear to God. That's so cool. I did. First time ever? Mm, in years, yeah. That's so weird, dude. I, we talked about this already, but you're fucking weird. Annalise, the other day, we were at Jason's house, and Joe goes to the bathroom. I'm in front of the bathroom... Uh, I'm, I'm in front of the bathroom door. Do I want to hear this? Yes. So I was standing in front of the, Annalise, I was standing in front of the bathroom door at Jason's house the other day. Joe was in the bathroom. Yeah. And I specifically stared at the bathroom door to make sure that he washes his hands. You were waiting for me, you creep. Fuck yeah, I was waiting for you. I wanted to make sure that you wash your hands. You're such and, a perv. And guess what? Ew, he flushes no. the toilet no. and walks right out. No sink water coming out. And I go, wash no. your hands, Joe. Wash no. your hands. What do you have to say about that? Hmm? How bad are you at peeing that you get it all over your hands? <laughs> How bad are you? Listen, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually on your side. The only reason I brought that up is for the podcast because... <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Yeah, I know. But I am on your side. I feel like when you take a piss, it may sound gross at first, but like when you're peeing and you're touching your penis, your penis isn't actually... Dis- like, it's not gross. It's not like, you know... Is it? Because you know, you know he doesn't shower after he goes in the sauna. Regular people... We're talking about regular people that do shower and do brush your teeth. Their, their, <laughs> their penises are clean usually and so what i'm trying to say is you know when you're taking a shot or when you're taking a piss it's okay for you not to wash your hands sometimes you know like it's kind of a waste of water if you ask me actually i wish this podcast was on video so you could see my face everyone <laughs> but then like i sometimes i'll contradict myself because like you're touching the toilet handle and you know jason's not washing his hands after a shit you know what i mean oh right so now now you're touching the toilet handle that jason touched mm. so now you technically did you de- technically you just touched jason's shit and now you're walking out and then i rub my eye yeah and now i have pink eye is jason like <laughs> shitting on his hands though no he's Dude. just for the paper i hope have you ever pooped your pants um yeah when i was little never when you were like 23 no no okay no um, why did you <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I don't know. Well, okay, well, come on. It wasn't in Costa Rica. Okay, and well, it wasn't doing what? He sharted when we were on vacation. Okay, well, what was your initial reaction to the shart? I was so surprised. What did you say to Annalise? Annalise, I sharted. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Or did you tell someone random? Holy shit, I just sharted. <laughs> The guy in the stall next to me. <laughs> it's really gross. So this is a, I don't know, I guess a poop warning. But we were in Costa Rica and I lost my drone. I was at a waterfall and I was doing these really cool drone tricks, like filming it. And out of nowhere, it just took off in the jungle. And it flew off and I lost it and I was really upset. So I walked back to where everybody was in the pool because I left the group. And my stomach was already destroyed from the different food, all that stuff. I wasn't used to it, to my defense. Okay, whatever. So at one point or another, I thought I farted, but then like, <laughs> I don't know what this, I don't know where this is going. Anyway, okay, so you just shit yourself is what you're saying. I mean, like sort of, but then like, <laughs> and I think, I think the of. thing too, like in Costa Rica, they have like so many bathrooms, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't toilet paper there. Oh yeah, yeah. In Costa Rica, they actually use leaves. No, no, no. I'm being serious. Actually, these monkeys, they have so many of them. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm being serious. Like a lot of the public bathrooms don't have toilet paper there because the toilet systems can't flush it down. So that I think that was my issue. So I had to take off. So you, so instead of risking not wiping, you just held it in. No, I, I think I used my boxers as like what the fuck, and then I walked out with shorts on. And then I walked out naked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. You've told me that story about you losing the drone, but I've never heard the second part to it. <laughs> yeah, 
like, there's a part two. <laughs> like, you've told me that story, like, multiple times, like, to multiple people, but, like, you know. Yeah, you gotta my, mention that, though. My, also, I shut myself after I lost the drone. The number two is my part two. <laughs> hey, do you know I started boxing? <laughs> boxing? I did with Julian, and he said that uh, he, you have a pretty funny fucking story. Julian is our trainer, and I literally only did it for the cardio. I am not a violent guy. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like being angry. I don't like any of that stuff. Uh huh. I'm pretty chill. And <laughs> when I had my arms up, he was teaching me blocking. <laughs> he told me what to do. And naturally, I zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> so when he went to punch me, instead of blocking, <laughs> I just clenched my eyes <laughs> and was ready to absorb it. <laughs> and I swear to God, just... it felt like a movie in slow mo where, like, he when he went to go hit me, I literally just went. Mm. <laughs> you just clenched your teeth. Your I eyes. clenched my teeth. I closed my eyes and I braced for impact because I'm like, I'm not gonna block this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Remember yeah. when you punched me in the face? Oh yeah, Joe and I were like play fighting the other day. We yeah. weren't play fighting. You just decided. You literally went up to me and said one, two, boom. <laughs> Yeah, I punched Joe in the face, and like it wasn't like a like a soft punch either. Like it was like a, it was pretty hard. And, and what I did was it was supposed to be an air punch, but I miscalculated my length or my arm length, and I actually punched <laughs> Joe in the forehead. <laughs> Have you ever broken your boner? How do you break a boner? I've heard that you can. What? It's just blood. It's not a bone. Well, no, but like you know how you have it, you can crack it. Like if you're pulling too hard on the right. No, you can't. Google it. I never say Google it, but Google it. I'm not going to Google if you can crack your boner. Scared? Fine, I'll do it. (laughs) Dude, I can't do, I can't really Google it right now because I have incoming calls. Odds one through a hundred, you leak your new phone number that you just got. One, One, two, two, three, 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 forty-three. Oh, whoa. (laughs) That's weird. They're flipped. That was close. Well, 34 and 43, they're flipped. Yeah. That's weird. Can you imagine? That would have, (laughs) you go back, hey, I need a third phone. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god dude can you crack it can you break it yes although rare a penis fracture can occur when there is trauma to an erect penis ow see a penis fracture differs from other fractures in the body because no the penis has no bones during an erection the penis is engorged with blood that fills two cylinders sounds like a car yeah <laughs> i didn't know that fun facts oh well now I'll be careful when i'm swinging my dick around when it's completely hard why are you swinging it around I don't know. You never just swing your dick around when it's completely hard. I'm not like walking around the house. No, no. Oh, I am. Why? Like 3 a.m. Get up. You have four roommates. Completely hard. Yeah, but they're all sleeping. (laughs) I can't wait (laughs) for the time that someone walks out and they're like, Ilya, why are you making cookies? (laughs) Completely. This is like hard as shit. Making cookies. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I just love cookies, man. (laughs) Using your dick as a spoon. (laughs) Stirring it. (laughs) You guys want some? (laughs) So gross. Would you ever make a porno? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Would you ever do a solo scene? No. Um, I've actually thought about it. Would you ever use my bathroom upstairs and just do it? <laughs> yeah, no, hear me out. Um, would I ever do it? You know, probably not because it'd be very hard in my field to, you know, get anything done. Be like, didn't I see you on that video one time? Oh, so you immediately think you're going to be a big porn star. Totally. What do you, oh, yes. You, First off, I've said this multiple times. I'm going to say it again. I'm really good at sex. Like, incredible. Literally, if I wasn't a Johnny Sins, I would start my own porn company and start my own videos. That's that's what I would do. <laughs> Fetty Productions. Fetty. Fetty. Fetty the fetish. <laughs> fetish Fetty. Fet- Fetty-ish Productions. Fetty-ish Productions. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'd ask you to be the photographer, though, for sure. Or f- filmmaker. You'd ask me to? So, uh, Annalisa, uh, Ilya wanted me to, like, participate in his new business it's a porn uh company but don't worry i'm just gonna be the the camera guy just the camera guy (laughs) (laughs) she doesn't think it's funny no (laughs) (laughs) she's looking down at her phone like i hate these guys i zoned out i have a twitch game to go play vlog squad is doing an among us and we're giving away an autographed jason and scotty merch and every podcast i do Ilya's gonna show up after shirtless on stream. On stream. On stream. Every Wednesday, Ilya will be on the Twitch stream shirtless. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Again, the Twitch is Joe and Annalise. Come and come watch. What time do I have to show up shirtless? What if I have a meeting? Nope. Hey, guys, sorry. I have to go. <laughs> Ilya, we're in the, literally in the middle of signing this contract. I, I understand. <laughs> I just need to be somewhere. 
Uh, I don't know if you know Lightweights, but maybe maybe you know Fetish Productions. Maybe but- you know Joe and Annalise Twitch stream. Yeah, I show up there shirtless every Wednesday at four o'clock. So okay, I gotta go. I gotta go play. I'm sorry. Wait, no, you're a great company. Can you please stay? Nope, she's gone. Bye. Go. Damn it. We are now coming to the best segment of the podcast where we pay you. 